Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 3rd of October. Let's look back at Axel's trade from last week, which was short DAX. Now, certainly he placed a short at a point where it perfectly hit that area that he wanted to enter and move towards the downside. So let's see where we stand now. You can see here 123.80 was the entry here. We got that nice rebound coming from Monday into that level and sold off. We've been continuing that short-term intraday downtrend since then. If you're looking at the parameters of the trade, we've got 29.50 towards the top end for that stop loss. And then we've got this 11400 take profit target. So we're still some way away from it, but we are in profit for this. So nice to get this on side and hopefully we can continue to see that move in that direction as we move forward to head towards the take profit target. For my trade of the week for this week, I wanted to look at the price of gold. We have been seeing things tick up somewhat at the back end of last week. And for me, I think this is a potential selling opportunity once again. Let's look from the daily time frame. Now, what we can see here is the price action over the course of 2021 and into this year has respected this area of support here. We've got 1677 time and time again being here and a couple sort of front running it and coming up around about sort of 1680 kind of area. So this is a big area of previous support. We've now broken through that level and you can see that 1677 now being provided as resistance on Friday. So this gives me greater confidence that we are going to see this market fade once again. We've seen the rebound, a strong rebound on Wednesday, the small rebound on Thursday. Then we're moving into a red candle with an upper shadow that essentially ticks into a historical resistance level or support turn resistance. And now we're seeing some downside once again. The four hour chart highlights that move in towards this confluence of the 1677, the 100 period SMA and the 76.4 Fibonacci level. And we're starting to roll over. So for me, I think this is a good opportunity to see a continuation of the bearish trend with a stop loss placed above this 1688 resistance level. So we're going to be looking for the stop loss to be placed around about 1690. And then from that, if we're looking for a sort of one for one trade here for a continuation, we'll be looking at sort of 29 points towards the upside. And so towards the downside, arguably, you don't necessarily need to go for one for one. You'll be able to have sort of 1.5 on this one. If we put our top, take profit at 1615, then it will be a 1.5 to 1 risk to reward ratio for this trade. Essentially, we're looking for a continuation of the downtrend, but just how we try to avoid ones where we've had seen a rebound from a historical support level. This one has the benefit of actually having come into a resistance level that was a historical support level. So hopefully uh, this confluence of resistance helps us see this market roll over and continue to see downside here for gold.